guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different, something I've never done before. As you know, I enjoy making videos for you guys and filming a bunch of different content. But today we're going to reverse the roles. We're actually filming a filming crew that's making a video for a movie right here in downtown Scranton. I do have some information I'm going to tell you about it. It does star Anthony Hopkins from the movie Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. And the movie's going to be called The Virtuoso. And they're filming here in downtown Scranton with some of the buildings here, which is the Hotel German, a bank on Spruce Street, and we're here on the 200 block of Wyoming Avenue, where they're going to be filming a chase scene, which culminates to a vehicle explosion, and it's going to be pretty awesome to check it out. They're kind of have part of the city shut down. They have camera crews everywhere, production crews, they have police here. Everything's going on. It's like a big bustle of activity, and they invite people to come down and check it out. So that's why we're here today. And uh, hopefully we could get some pretty good footage and not get chased away because I'm right in the middle of the street here and uh, hopefully trying to stay out of everyone's way, but it should make for uh, interesting content. So let's see what happens. Now, if you look down the street there, there is a red BMW car. It's kind of hard to see. I'll lift up the camera. That is one of the vehicles that are involved in the scene as well as that RV, the camper there. And they were practicing some run-bys coming in at a high rate of speed so so far it looks pretty cool i don't know where the explosion is going to take place but it is supposed to happen on this block so there's the red mercedes it was doing a couple run bys sorry about the shaking it's on the zoomed in here and here's the rv that's going to be somehow involved in the movie scene and they did a press release in the news article and on other websites stating what was going to take place today so as you can see across the street, got some camera crew. Sorry about the wind, it's very windy. And we have more over there across the street. And that is the building right there, the Hotel German. They were used part of the scene for that. I believe they filmed that Friday night. And if you look down the street, there is uh, production trucks down there, as well as other vehicles related to the filming crew. <laughs> so this gave you a bit more information about this again it's called the virtuoso starring anthony hopkins anson mount and abby cornish and it centers on a hitman played by mount whose first kill will take place from his upper story perch in the former dime bank building at the 400 spruce street located at 400 spruce street which is just over here the man aims at the victim of the Hotel German, which we showed over there. And it said the movie, after the first kill, he tries to escape. And they're going to do the chase scene here, which we're filming today, the second uh, 200 block of Wyoming Avenue. And I believe tomorrow is the last day of filming, Tuesday, for this area. But that's uh, basically the rough outline of it. I guess they're going to do the production work of it and then send it out to see who wants to pick it up for a, uh, a film to produce uh, for a company to you know premiere in theaters and stuff like that that's the gist of it that i got from the website here so if that makes any sense to you hopefully it does i kind of had the grasp of it i'm not familiar with filmmaking and what's involved but that hopefully fills in a little bit of the blanks as to what they're doing here today
So here's a closer look at the car that we saw racing down Wyoming Avenue. You guys can probably tell me what year it is. I'm not really familiar with Mercedes, but definitely a powerful car, I can tell you that. It's a 300 SL. You can see they just have a mock license plate on there. It's not for any particular state. And the 100 block of Wyoming Avenue, you can see their production trucks and everything down there. So it is a big, you know, undertaking to film some movie scenes. I never really knew how much was involved. But it is really cool to see, though. I don't know what car is going to be exploding, though. But uh, we're going to see if we can take a walk up. Maybe we'll get a closer look at the RV there. Okay, so right now there's a little bit of a lull in the action. They are still working on the RV over there, I guess, prepping it for the explosion. I believe that's what's going to be exploding. I'm going to try to find out. But they said it's going to be a couple hours until it happens. As you can see, the production crews kind of went inside for the time being, I guess, to warm up for we get the equipment warm because it's, it's uh, very windy out here and cold, and it's probably 34 degrees out. So it is uh, hard on the equipment, as those of you who film and take pictures know, it kills the batteries. So they are bringing everything inside right now. And uh, there's just the regular guys out here doing the prep work on the on the vehicle. So I guess we'll have to wait around and see what happens. Hopefully it uh, takes place sooner than later because I don't want to freeze out here. But uh, it, something like this doesn't take place every day. And uh, I guess I have to stop saying and, uh, but I'd like to share it with you guys. So we'll wait it out and hope for the best. So you can see there they have some hydraulic arms which are going to be used to supposedly flip this RV over, it's going to be like a mock car crash. So, kind of curious to see how it's going to play out. So I didn't even realize it, but I was standing by this car before, and I believe this is one of the cars going to be involved in the movie, because you can see the license plate. It's just uh, an artificial one, so I think this is going to be involved in it. Obviously that red Mercedes and the RV, so don't know which one's going to be crashing into it, but my hunch is going to be this one here. You actually see they have like a little dummy in there. Pretty neat. And the gentleman there in the blue suit is the one that was driving the red Mercedes. So they have their uh, catering tent here and some of their production trucks and some more stuff so they got at least two blocks worth of equipment here hopefully these guys give me a uh, thumbs up for this video for standing out here in the cold because I came here early enough hoping to get a spot which I was able to and I was able to catch that one speeding car scene but I do want to stick it out to catch the flipping of that vehicle because that's something you never really see Especially in a local city like this, usually it's filmed in like New York or Hollywood or something like that, but you see, uh, okay, maybe I was mistaken, retraction. Virtuoso is a production company, not the name of the movie. I may have mistaken that. If I did, I'll put a correction on the screen, but it looks like Virtuoso Productions. And I believe this is uh, some of the actors' little trailers here. See behind me, it says costumes right there. So it's really awesome what they do to you know prepare for a movie here. We've got signs here, and surprisingly enough, they let me just walk around and you know kind of be my own leisure. The only thing they said is I couldn't be on the other side by the RV. They did tell me not to be over there. I was able to come to this side of the street and check it out, but really awesome to be here and to see it in person because you know you see TV shows and movies and you never really understand what goes involved or what's involved with it unless you're part of it or have seen it with your own eyes so hopefully this gives you a little bit of a taste as to some of the prep work and production and the amount of undertaking that's you know that goes on to produce these movies 
And you can see up there the old Hotel German sign, which is you not know, just apartments, it's an apartment building, but it's known as the Hotel German. Okay, so just a little correction from before. I double checked, I went to imdb.com, Internet Movie Database website, and the movie is indeed called The Virtuoso. So I was correct the first time. It's not Virtuoso Production Crew, as I was mistaken, but the movie itself is called Virtuoso. And it's listed on IMDb as in pre-production right now, so at least I have that fact straight, so. Um, we're getting closer to 2 o'clock now, and supposedly they're supposed to do this explosion and car crash between 2 and 3 o'clock, so I'm hoping it's sooner than later, but I'm sticking around and hopefully getting some footage of it. So while we have some time to kill, I'm going to go over the information that's listed on imdb.com. It says the first Rosso is in pre-production status. It says it's a, about a lonesome stranger, secure, nerves of steel, must track down and kill a rogue hitman to satisfy an outstanding debt. The only information he's been given is a time and location where to find his quarry, 5 p.m. at a rustic diner in the dying town. So I guess they're considering Scranton a dying town, possibly. No name, no description, nothing. When the assassin arrives, there are several possible targets, including the county sheriff. Endangering his life, the assassin embarks on a manhunt to find the hitman and accomplish his mission. The danger escalates when the erotic encounters with a local woman threaten to derail his task. So that's what's listed on imdb.com. Also below in the description, I will not only post a link for that, but also a link to the article that was written up that I read earlier explaining about everything that was taking place in the city with the filming. So that's just a little bit more information I was able to provide for you guys. but. Looks like they're finishing up the work on the RV. From what I saw, they have some plates underneath it and some hydraulic arms on the sidewalk that are supposed to basically push and flip over the RV and I guess at the same time explode it into a ball of flames. That's what I was told. Hopefully that's true, but um, I don't know if it's the red Mercedes that's gonna take place hitting that or that silver Ford that we showed earlier. But either way, um, it should be pretty exciting. It should be happening within the next hour or so. All right, so just a quick update. This car here is gonna be stationary. They put a dummy in the driver's seat. He's got a, a wig on and a suit and tie. But this car is gonna be stationary as like a prop car. But the red Mercedes is gonna be involved in some type of action. And down there is the RV, which is prepped to flip over and then explode. And it looks like the driver is getting ready in here. So we'll watch and see what happens. So we are getting closer, they've done several more drive-by scenes with the uh, red Mercedes and the gentleman there in the blue suit is the one driving the car and it's like they're kind of planning up how they're going to maneuver to crash into the RV and from my understanding it's going to somehow, I don't know how the accident's going to take place from what direction, I'm hoping I have a good vantage point but it's supposed to run into it and there's big hydraulic arms that are anchored to the sidewalk behind those tanks that you see there which is going to lift up and flip over the RV and it's supposed to be propane to cause it to burst into a ball of flame. So, still waiting to see.
Right. That was my car until last week. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? My name is Glenn Hoffman. That was my car. Arizona car, 113,000. I hated to get rid of it, but time and place. Thank you. Okay, it's approximately 20 after 5 right now, and we're getting ready to do the explosion scene. Looks like they're getting prepped for it, so should be happy momentarily. We've been here about five hours waiting for this, so <laughs> hopefully it's worth the wait. <laughs> So we got pushed back a little farther away, but it looks like they're getting much closer now to filming the sequence. Hey guys, even over here we gotta get up on the corner. So thank you. Hey guys, we're gonna have to clear this corner. It's a safety thing. You're gonna have to go down here. I'm sorry. Okay. Everybody's gotta move. All right, we got a little better spot. Hopefully this works out, so let's wait and see. Alright guys, we finally made it to the end of the filming here. 
Believe it or not, I was here seven hours today. I got here around noon because they said it was gonna start around two o'clock for the car explosion. I got pushed ahead to 3.30. 3.30 turned into 5.30 and then seven o'clock. And it was a long day. It was frustrating because we kept getting pushed away, which is understandable, but uh, hopefully the footage paid off. I was able to leave the tripod where it was. I had to step back about 20 feet for safety reasons, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, let me know in the comment section and leave a thumb, uh, thumbs up for the video. And if you're new to my channel, check out my playlist and consider subscribing. And if you do, ring that notification bell. So that said, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.